Good morning, guys. So it is the 4th. Justin's gonna try to throw a snowball at me. That was a close one. Good thing he can't throw. Um, so I'm gonna fill the wood stove and get on with the day. Okay, wood stove is full. Now I'm gonna go start up our Peterbilt. It's on the trains. I think we're gonna haul some corn today. That or work on it, but I think we're hauling corn. So let's go. Alrighty, first things first. Pop the hood, check some oil. This hood is super easy to open. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It looks good. Right at the top of the checkered. Checking the engine oil is a good habit for anyone to get into on anything that has an engine. Because if it runs out of oil, you're gonna have a bad day. Alrighty, let's see what she has to say this morning. Okay. Lights came on, that's good. So it's Monday, barn cleaning day. I'm gonna go ahead and fire up 270, 245, they're on the spreaders. Let them get a chance to warm up. All the level is good. Has anybody ever thought about it? Remote start on tractors? That'd be nice. Engine number one is operational. Right at the top. Let's see what this one's gonna do. Typical, start right up. Well, I get to only 32 right now. They fire right up. Justin! I see you wanna be in another video. All right, coming back from the weekend, we can turn that on again. Justin! Well, if we're going to clean the barn, I don't want these boots on. I want those. So, there we go. Much better. Well, what do we have in the shop, you might ask? We're doing some work to this new to us New Holland Stacker, Stack Cruiser. We picked up a B38 out of Ontario. I think it's a 2004, he said. We got this, so two week, week and a half ago, week. So we're gonna be able to run two stackers this year. We put on a lot more hay, and this stacker is a lot newer, a lot nicer than the current one we have. The current one still works, but we're gonna be using it a lot more. So we want to get a new one and keep that other one as a spare in case something ever happens, because if this breaks down, not a good day. I'm getting a phone call for some oh boy dad. Yep, I didn't know you wanted it out there. Okay, so we're gonna take the Peterbilt here that I just started out and get her loaded. And Grandpa's gonna head to town with her when he gets here. Alrighty, so the pup tarp does not seem to want to open for some reason. The lead did. We're gonna come back here, give the cable a little wiggle. Wiggle, please. We'll try it. Well, that didn't work. Let's wiggle this one. Okay, I can hear it moving now. So I'm gonna head down to the barn. Justin's already down there cleaning. He just got there. Uh, Dad and I just loaded a uh, fat heifer to go to the slaughterhouse. My uncle's taking it because he's going that way anyways. So we're gonna get down to the barn now. Free mixer wagon. No, not free. Why did I say that? Mixer wagon for sale. Let me know. I guess I can turn those off. All right, grab coffee, grab the old gloves. Let's go move some cattle. So never mind. Justin's got me beat to it. Justin's beat me to it. That's what I'm looking for. In the old barn, at least, we're gonna go and lock up the new addition barn, new barn, we call it new barn down here. I'm trying to tie that gate first though, I just tied it to that other gate because it keeps swinging open for some reason and then he can't get out of the barn with the skid steer because the gate's closed. 
So I had to tie that open. Now we're going to move cat. So just a fair warning, I'm not going to do a video of us cleaning the whole barn like I did before. Because if you guys have already seen it, nothing's different. So I might just put in a couple clips here and there. And then go right into whatever we, whatever we decide to do after that. How to grab the old sort stick. Hi guys. You like that food? So I meant to say this at the beginning of the video. But I hope everyone had a good holiday season. And uh, happy new year. So I'm taking the first load out of the barn. We're just down the road. The barn's right over there. As you can see, I disked this a couple days ago. Because we have been spreading manure here. So I disked all this in. I'm going to go back and spread some more now. And uh, go back for another load. Okay, let's hit that button. Start the PTO. You can see the beaters spinning back there. We'll rev it up. About 1770, 1750 RPMs. Now we're gonna open the end gate. Now switch number two, start the pusher. And now we just wait until we get some coming out the back and then we'll take off. It's kind of rough. I wonder why that is. Come back for another load, Justin. Load her up. Stay in there now. So this is loaded up. I'm going to take this one out. Justin's uh, starting the last pen. There will probably be one more load here. And then we'll go home and clean there. God dang, Grandpa, what did you do to this poor window? I've just got like a bucket full in this spreader. Dad's going to spread his spreader full. And then I'm heading actually back home. We're going to do some cleaning there. And that should be it for barn cleaning. Hey, Shadow. How are you doing? Somebody needs to do some work on these things. I need to replace a bunch of these cleats. Well, they're both these things back in. They just flop around. There's a hole right there. It's supposed to be bolted, but they don't stay clearly. There was actually a couple I saw. They only had one bolt in. We have put hard surface weld on them. It was either this one or the other spreader. Well, I do not have a full spreader load this time, so I'm guessing they're done cleaning the barn they're gonna bet it and then we'll do lunch after that and that's a wrap for the barn cleaning this week it is noon so we're gonna go get some food i forgot to do something we leave the gates up in the winter so that they don't freeze down and then we also move the pusher back a little bit because things that they do freeze if it gets cold enough i don't think it's supposed to get real cold just in case though that doesn't look good. So Justin was almost done bedding the barn. Then he had to break the skid steer. What do you have to say about that? I'm sorry. Don't tell the people what happened. The tire fell off. The tire fell off. Now why would that be? Because the lug nuts were loose. And who changed the tire? I did like two months ago. Uh-huh. Yeah, so let's see. Let's take a look at this tire. The tire pretty much fell off, didn't it? The lug studs, the nuts. Oh, my glove stuck. They pulled right through here. The holes are all whopped out. They're supposed to be like half that size. Broke one of the wheel studs off. So we limped her back over here to the shop out of the barnyard. We got the studs pounded out. I don't know what we're going to do get new studs or a new hub or something but we'll get her fixed hey Justin I lied to the people I told them that we were gonna go to lunch after I parked the spreader but we didn't I'm sorry guys that means I'm a liar I hope you guys can forgive me do you think they'll forgive me Justin he said he wouldn't but listen to him oh we're just coming back out from lunch we're going to be working on the trailer, the lead. Let's go.
they've got the brakes off this axle. They seem to be struggling on that side. I'm just letting the air build up. This stud still got the nut on it. It came out of the hub. So we're going to have to do something about that. YouTube, what you did. Ruined the brakes. Couldn't help it. I, I stopped. I had to stop. Driving too fast. Driving way too fast. I had to stop too quick for railroad tracks and all that kind of thing. Yeah. You smell them. Yeah. When you smell them, you're burning them. You should never. You, you never. Burn them right out. You never need your brakes. No, you shouldn't I, ever need no, your brakes. Yeah. Gate brakes should take care of. Yeah. Quite fast. You just can't find good help. We're putting new brakes on the back two axles, the down axles on the lead here. On fire! So now that I've got the fire off, we're going to come in here and loosen this up. That's the brake adjuster so that we can slide this off and get at the brakes. So now that we've got that off, we have to go here and pop this spring off so that it really puts that spring tension on this and I can pull them off. You're going to be able to salvage it? Uh, I don't know what's it. So Nate says he's going to weld on this hub, weld around, build this up because it's smaller than this one. But I don't know, Nate's just a mediocre welder. Well, we'll let him try. I'm going to do the easier job and see if I can get this wire shoved back in there, which unlocks the bucket. So this is the inside of what unlocks the bucket. This cylinder, electric cylinder, moves these pins. Well, these are the indicators, but the pins are on the back here. It moves them, unlocks the bucket, relocks the bucket. And if this wire breaks, well, then you can't unlock the bucket at all. And you have to take this cover off and work on it. And then this clamp normally bolts right here and it's broke. Normally it'd sit like that. And so it just dangles around and sooner or later that's gonna get broke. So I think we have some of these clamps in the other shed, other shop. I'll go look for those. So we are going to, we, you and me, you and us, us and me, you guys and I, are gonna go over to our other shop. I believe I put a bunch of those clamps over there so, let's go see if we can find anything. Oh, hey, Big White. I'm glad you're staying warm in this cold weather. We've got some work to do on the whole feed trailer here. It leaks on the belly auger. Not a lot, but it just looks bad when you leave a pile of grain after you're dumping. That's what I'm looking for right there. So, we'll take these two. I don't know if you saw that, my big hand in the way. Oh, and the socket that's been missing. The three quarter impact drive socket. Impact drive socket, impact half inch drive. Oh, hey, what do you know? Henniker cultivator for sale. Anybody wants it. back together. I 
put some new bolts in here and then put this clamp on. Nate built this up on the hub with the weld and we got new lug or studs. So we'll see if Nate fixed it. Oh, come out here. I have something to show you. If you follow along on Instagram, you would have seen that we had this truck getting worked on for a while. I don't remember exactly, but uh, she blew up. 190,000 miles. Grandpa just brought it, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago. Complete engine overhaul. I don't know if we're gonna put it back on the trains or if he's just gonna run the Peterbilt, but she's back. Are we gonna be able to afford all this? No. I didn't think so. got all the new parts for the brakes on these four axles two axles uh, we threw this one together just a few minutes ago and it's almost done we got to put this cover back on new grease in there shouldn't take too long tomorrow do them other three wheels this should be back on the road tomorrow I think that's gonna be the end of the video I'm gonna shut the lights off up there I don't know how them got on and I'm gonna fill the wood stove and call our day so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one I don't think we really have to put them back on do we we could probably just run her like that.